Again, make that thieving liar pay. Ah. <sighs> well, it's been fun, guys, but it looks like my ride is here. Nice knowing you. Drop your weapon, surrender now. Just give me the prisoner, and no one will have to get hurt. Your words, not mine. Shut up! We do not negotiate with Riffraff. The Empire fears no one. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. I won't ask again. Hand over the prisoner. He'll pay for his crimes, and so will you! What are you waiting for? Kill him! <laughs> That was exciting. It's good to finally meet you in person, Captain. Welcome to Havoc Squad, Vic. Now there's something I never expected to hear. So, what does Havoc Squad do with worthless enemy bureaucrats? Uh, <laughs> let's not be hasty now. I am a man of honor, despite what you may have heard. Yeah, nice guy. You stole from your people, and betrayed them to the Empire by accident. I've made mistakes, certainly, but allow me to make amends. A contribution of credit, say, to repay the Republic's heroism on behalf of my fellow Balmorans? I don't want your credits, Oris. Get out of here. Oh, yes. Yes, of course. Whatever you wish. Should have just killed the fat scumbag. Now, seeing as we're all on the same team, I'll fill you in on my little operation. That vault we blew open is full of pricey prototype weapons designed by Balmoran companies. Oris had them hidden before the Imperial invasion to keep them safe. Oris never told the Imperials about these weapons? Of course not. He wanted to make money on them. Oris planned to sell the prototypes for a tidy profit. We could do the same, after picking a few choice items for ourselves. Those prototypes should be put to use, not sold for profit. Quite right, Captain. These weapons must be turned over to the proper authorities in accordance with Regulation 87C. I bet you change your mind once those blasters are in front of us. Let's just get to the vault. If we don't move fast, the imps might find the prototypes. Don't get to die yet. Heading out. Ready. Let me help you. Understood. I'm here. Walk it off. Oh, 
You're gonna miss me when I've gone. Ready and able. I'll help you. Let me help you. As you command.
Moving out. Yes, sir. Time to do some damage. Here they are, Sergeant. Go ahead and bring your men through. It's clear. Captain, this is Sergeant Tong. I took the liberty of calling his transport team in to get these captured enemy weapons crated and moved. I appreciate you coming all this way to help us. No problem, sir. Hostile pickup is our specialty. Where can we take this stuff for you, sir? Yeah, sir. Where are they taking all these highly advanced, highly useful, highly valuable prototype weapons? These weapons belong to the Balmorans. They should go back to them. Copy that, sir. Get moving, men! You're insane. The Balmorans are never going to share that tech with the Republic when they could make money instead. Those weapons were designed and built by Balmorans. We don't have any right to them. Nobody would have those weapons if not for us. We did all the work. Best place to buy. Durable, military-grade supplies. Come back in one piece. to consider how long the Balmorans have been carrying on this fight. Command sending out new tactics all the time. Stay sharp out there. I finally tracked down Vic. He's coming with me. Yeah. 
I heard about the prototype weapons. You think giving them back makes up for years of Republic mistakes? I don't have any agenda. The weapons belong on Balmora. Yeah, right. Vic is probably the only reason you're leaving the prototypes. He understood what Balmora's been through. I could always tell. Vic wanted the prototypes for himself. He doesn't care about Balmora. What a load of garbage. I'd like to say it's been a pleasure having you here, Captain, but we both know that's a lie. Come back when Havoc Squad is done showboating all over the galaxy. We'll put you to work for a real cause. Good luck in the battle for Balmora, Arden. Derailments. Captain, were you successful in locating and extracting Tano Vic to serve in Havoc Squad? Consider me located and extracted, General. Good. From now on, you will speak only when spoken to. Has Vic given you any trouble, Captain? A bit, but I cleared things up. I'm glad to hear it. Tano Vic, your service with the Republic Army is hereby resumed. You are posted to Special Forces Unit 326, codenamed Havoc Squad, at the rank of Specialist. It's a real honor to be here, General. I look forward to getting out there and fighting for the Republic again. May I have permission to speak, Captain? Captain. Were you successful in locating and extracting Can Good. A bit, but I- I'm glad to hear it. Tanovic, your service with re- It's a real honor to be- May I have permission to speak, Captain? What do you have to say, Lieutenant? Specialist Vic has repeatedly demonstrated a complete disregard for ethical considerations and military regulations. It is my personal opinion that Specialist Vic will serve only as a detriment, both to this squad and to the efforts of the Republic Army as a whole, sir. I don't want Vic in my unit either, but I don't have any choice. Well, you know how to make a guy feel welcome. I understand your concerns, but we have a job to do. Let's focus on it. An urgent situation has developed, involving a critical part of our plan to assault the Gauntlet. Havoc Squad is needed, immediately. A platoon specializing in bunker assaults, codenamed Safecrackers, is trapped behind enemy lines on Quesh. They must be rescued immediately. We cannot destroy the Gauntlet without them. I'll proceed to Quesh immediately, General. When you reach Quesh, report to Major Donovan. He's overseeing the rescue operation. I'll follow Major Donovan's orders to the letter, General. This mission is vital, Captain. If we fail, our entire operation against the Gauntlet is ruined. Stay focused and bring those men home. Garza out. Oh my gosh, Alara Dorn's gear was uh, bounty hunter gear for a second. Why? Why is it bounty hunter gear? That's so strange. Well, better go back to the void where I don't talk. <laughs>